road signs, we see them everywhere. Um, they are there for a reason though. They're there to show us a way we're supposed to go. Um, they are there to uh, protect us, to help us uh, get there safely where we're going to. If we deviate it off from the road signs, we will most likely um, could be in an accident, we could be definitely in trouble with the law, um, or we could just not get to where we want to get going. But they're there for a reason. And prophecy is a lot like that too. If you read the prophecies in the Bible, you will find that they are leading us right up to a destination. And that destination is the rapture of the church, when Christ comes back for his believers, for his church. And not just that, but it goes on to show how Christ comes back uh, with us, with all of us, for the big battle of Armageddon after that. And it tells us that Satan's time is almost up. And he knows that as well as we know it, just through the prophecies. And his demons know that too. And I want to talk to you about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. See, the Bible is very clear on who Satan is and his agenda, agenda that is culminating in his final destruction. Over in Revelation 12:12, 12, 12, it tells us, Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. He knows his time is short. We see it all around us, don't we? We see what's happening in the world today. He has been unleashed, and he's coming after everyone that he can. He's trying to disrupt whoever he can. He's trying to get our minds off of Jesus, that's for sure. Because he knows his time is short. He wants to take whoever he can with him to his final destruction. The Bible also tells us who Jesus is and how the demons respond to him. In James 2.19 it says, you believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and they tremble. They tremble when they see him. Demons are in rebellion against Jesus, but they know that he has supremacy over them. That's, that's, kind, that's kind of, it's weird, isn't it? They, they know um, who he is uh, and they rebel against him. And they still know that he has supremacy over them. That just blows my mind. But in Matthew 8, 29, it says, the demon said to Jesus, What have we to do with you, Jesus, you son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? See, the devil and his demons know that their time is short and that judgment is coming for them. They know that they will ultimately end up in the lake of fire. If you believe that the devil is pulling out all the stops right now and that he is wreaking havoc everywhere, then I'm sure you'll agree with me that we are indeed living in the end times. And as Christians, we should be motivated to tell everybody about the gospel of Jesus, to share the gospel of Jesus, because, folks, the time is short. God bless everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.